This is the grand finals of the Meta Weekly. Meta Weekly 133, 133 weeks in a row. Have at it. Make sure you join on YouTube. Click join. How do you do so? Right here. Click on join. If you click join, you get all the benefits in the bottom right. Weekly $12 duel rooms, which are free entry. Monthly $50 free entry tournaments. Weekly, monthly, daily tournaments. Lots of prize support. Largest, most active duel links discord around. Right here. Join the discord. Discord.gg slash duel links meta. Over 41,000 members. We are waiting for you. Hop in. Become top tier. Let's go. Grand finals. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. All right, we have UA Zark at the bottom. This is Kaiba versus Kaiba. Blue Eyes White Dragon versus Black Wings. Post ban list, new box. Summoning a Zephyros with no Black Whirlwind, that is not an optimal play, but he could at least special summon the level 3 Tuner Gale alongside his Zephyros to make a level 7. Level 7 Pixie Dragon. Pixie Dragon will make you draw a card if you play a field spell. So he's going to then use Zephyros to return the field spell to replay it to get that free draw. Also, while you control a field spell, the Pixie could destroy any attack position monster once per turn. Get drawing. Perseverance, $16 to the prize support, making it $350. Thank you, Perseverance. I'll be adding that in a second. Double back row set with a Bora on the field, special summoned. He could have a Blackbird close, potentially. He's got no Blackwing Synchro on the field, otherwise, you would keep the close in the hand. Normal summons a Globe Bulb, activate Sage to send the Globe Bulb to the graveyard to then summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon or a Dragon Spirit of White from the deck. Come forth. Blue Eyes White Dragon. May the biggest fool persevere. Thank you, Perseverance. I think Prince K is playing very carefully around the back row cards. I believe he's afraid of a Blackbird close. That is the key card of a Blackwing deck. He's going to activate the Glow Bulb. Get summoning. Now, the Blackbird close is only activatable from a monster effect in the fields. Checking the Duel Links Meta website, clicking on the tier list, and clicking on Blackwings. You can see the most played cards. There you go. That's the Blackbird close right there. Tribute off a Blackwing to negate a monster effect in the field. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon in defense at 3,200. Cosmic Cycle at the cost of 1,000 life. Banish that back row card. Now, if you want to see the Blue Eyes breakdown, we can go to the search articles. Blue Eyes breakdown right here for the best way to play Blue Eyes. So this is what we could expect in a Blue Eyes deck. Ancients in the end phase, activating to summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon by being sent to the graveyard. At 2700 defense, UA Zark is, his field's clogged actually, but you know, the Pixie could, if he wants to, unclog the field, destroy a face-up attack position monster. So he could not destroy the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon nor the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon is a great, great card. It can negate any card effect that activates in the graveyard. Also, Quick Play contributes itself to summon a Dragon Synchro from the extra deck in defense, which then destroys itself in the end phase. Ancients in the Grave banish itself to add a Blue Eyes White Dragon back to the hand. Will Prince K make a play as he discards a Blue Eyes White Dragon to summon a Cosmo Brain at 3100 attack? Alternative evolution turned the Blue Eyes White Dragon into an alternative White Dragon, which could activate to destroy a monster on the field, but he chooses to not do so. Get swinging Blue Lightning onto the Bora. Cosmo Brain clearing up the field. Not big enough to take up that Pixie Dragon. Pixie Dragon can now activate to destroy an attack position monster. Activating Pixie, targeting an attack position. 
Cosmo Brain. Cosmo Brain, while on the field during your turn, you can activate to tribute off a of monster you control to summon a blue eyes from the deck. Follows up with a Necro Valley. Neither player could banish nor summon nor move a card in the graveyard by playing a field spell that will trigger the effect of Pixie to draw a card. He is susceptible to losing out to the alternative white dragon. Alternative White Dragon activate, take out the Pixie. Was he not expecting this? Why did he take out the Cosmo Brain and not the Alternative White Dragon? What is going on? Normal summons and ancients. Going to Synchro Shokan into the Alternative White Dragon. Come forth. Another Blue Eye Spirit Dragon. Both in attack position. We got 5,000 damage on the field. Is this it? Takes the 25. Final attack. Grand finale of game one. Lethal. Prince K taking an epic game one victory. victory was in my Outplaying the Blackbird Close, the Pixie, the Necro Valley, you name it. He played around it. I feel joy in defeating a replica? Set set from Prince K. That does not mean he bricked. He could have a Rangaki Breaker Karma Cut to discard an Ancients with. He could have chose to keep Ancients in the hand. Activate, spell. activate the Black Rowan Karma Cut to discard and banish to negate the search. Now, this is considered to be an additional normal summon. He could still perform a regular normal summon. Additionally, normal summons a Bora, search of the Black Rowind, and he's got a Raigeki break, double discard. He discarded Cosmo Brain for the first one, discarded Card of Consonance for the second. This was his entire opening hand, which doesn't look so good, but it did disrupt UA Zark. Off the top of the deck, what did he rip into? So many dead cards he could rip into Cosmo, Consonance, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dragon Spirit of Light. Normal summons a Gale, gets swinging for 1500. He must press his advantage while Prince K has bricked. No ancients to be using with the cut, nor the regeki brick, nor the consonants. That's not good. What did he rip into? Probably an ancients. The ancients, when sent to the graveyard, will summon a Blowing White Dragon in the end phase. But can UA Zark win this turn? Double Gale. Gale beatdown, not big enough to take out Sage at 1,500 defense. I cannot believe it. Why does it randomly have 1,500 D? Again, Prince K passing back to UA Zark. $350 on the line. This is not the time to brick. Offerings to the doomed. Take out the Sage by skipping your next draw phase. Open field. Lethal. Takes it. Does he have a Sphere Kribo? Is this it? My monster attacks your life points directly. Lethal. UA Zark taking game number two. From my hand, Black Whirlwind. Now it's not too late. Let's see. Even with opening up a Black Whirlwind, Black Wings are known for being a turn two deck. So with double Black Rowan and with the effect of Samoon to perform an additional summon, get searching for two Blackwing monsters smaller than 1800. No Rageki, no Karma Cut to disrupt. Which deck will win? Black Wings or Blue Eyes? Vote in the chat. You let me know. Let's go. The poll is up. I'll play this. Let's bring it up. Summon a monster in attack position. It's nearly even, even with opening up Double Black Whirlwind, searching for four monsters. He searched for a Zephyros, a Roshi. Now he's searching for a Gale and a Bora. All three other monsters he searched for can be special summoned. He used up his double summon. Now it's time to get special summoning. Special summon a Roshi. Now, by using Samoon, you could only summon dark monsters for the rest of the turn. I'll play this. I 
get Synchro Summoning into Pixie Dragon, which will have the ability to draw a card if you play a field spell. Also could destroy an attack position monster on the field. Special Summon a Gale. Gale get tuning into the Zephyros. Zephyros, while in the graveyard, could return a face-up card to control back to the hand to Special Summon. I synchro summon a monster. Black Wings wins the vote. What you thinking? Just because he opened up Double Black Whirlwind does not mean he will win. If he went second and he opened up Double Black Whirlwind uninterrupted, then yes, I would say he would have won. Makes a Rock Carry, which could destroy up to two cards in the field per other Blackwing you control. Return the field spell with the effect of Zephyrus. Replay the field spell, triggering the effect of the Pixie to draw a card. End phase, burn for 1,000, losing the Black Whirlwind that was played from the deck due to Samoon. Card of Consonance, discard a Dragon Tuner. Draw two. White Stone went into the graveyard. Search your deck for a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Discard Bloy's White Dragon to come forth and summon Cosmo Brain. Cosmo Brain could tribute any monster you control to summon a Bloy's White Dragon from the deck. Activate its effect, tributing itself to summon a Bloy's White Dragon. Z Zark did not activate a Blackbird Close. That is what we're all expecting. Blackbird Close from the hand can be activated if you control a Blackwing Synchro to tribute off a Blackwing to negate and destroy a monster effect on the field. Come forth, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Alternative Evolution, turn it into an Alternative White Dragon. Activate to destroy a monster on the field by giving up its attack. Takes out the Pixie Dragon again. No Blackbird Close. Normal summons a White Stone of the Ancients. This is a great response to a double Black Rowan play. Synchro Shokan into Vermilion Dragon Mech. Banish a tuner from the hand field or grave to pop a card in the field, taking out Rakiri. Well, now he definitely does not have a Blackbird close. Add the alternative White Dragon back to the hand. Resummon it back on the field. Alternative White Dragon will activate to take out the Zephros. Is he going for it? Let's go. Take out the Zephros. Discard a boy's White Dragon. Two monsters can attack on an open field. Double lethal. With this, you lose. Lethal. Overcoming a double Black Whirlwind opener. No Blackbird close to negate. Blue Eyes White Dragons. Pop, pop, pop. Lethal. Prince K is your winner overcoming Dark Magician in the top four, then winning it all. Meta Weekly 133, top 32, full deck type breakdown in the top decks. Well, this is the big tournament that is after the ban list and with the new box that brought us Megalith. And Witchcrafter is the most played deck alongside Shurinui and Blackwings. Now, Shurinui got hit by the ban list, but people are still playing it. And we are playing unlimited dual rooms, so they can play three of the Shura Nui Spectral Sword if they want to. So looking at skipping the second place, skipping the first, going to second place, we have Z-Arc with Black Wings. Standard Black Wings. Look at the side deck. Offerings to the Doomed. It's the Japanese art. If you're confused on what that is, we'll see you later. Very nice. Prince K. Wow, we got a Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. I can make sure to have the extra deck in the view also, but then we cut off his name. Alternative Evolution, more than 20 cards. This deck is lit. I prefer to play it at 20 cards, but this obviously did well for him. Good job, Prince K. And that is the side deck. Now, in a random order, I'm going to show you the top 32 decks. Let's get to it. This is post-nerf. Christron's. And as you can see, he is playing only one Rion and only one Christron Impact because that is the new nerf. Post banless, very good. Top 32. If you're wondering how to play the deck, here you go. More play the Christron entry to help replace. This is 20 card. Very good. Blue eyes, white dragon. This is similarly to how I would play. I played it without the white stone. I played a third Cosmo Brain, but they're still both are very good. 
Level duplication, TCG Cray. This was exciting. I yoinked this deck. I adjusted it to play the Excel Synchro. I honestly think it's better with the Excel Synchro. A mono Awato in the side deck, full helmet deck. This is the nerfed Cyberstyle, nerfed Overflow, and he's still doing well. I think this is the only Cyber Dragon deck in the top 32. Switch Aru Worms. Cosmic and Parshaft to trigger the switcheroo. Very nice. Goki. Goki with Necro Valley in the main deck that, you know, kind of rubs me the wrong way. That, you know, I'm okay with Necro Valley in Black Wings because they could search it. But, you know, balance with Necro Valley, okay. Volcanic Neos. All right. Dark Magician with only two rod. It's nerfed. Semi limited. Titan Showdown. Wow, this is spicy. Witchcrafter Power of the Dark with Triple Storm. Lava Golem and the Ritual Beast. What grows in the graveyard? The Olion. No Excel Synchro, but Coral Dragon. Nice. Black Wings, standard. Destiny Draw Elmen Sabers, looking quite standard beyond 20 cards though. Standard Black Wings. See you later, Shardnui. Interesting. Level Augmentation, all right, very cool. Thank you, Luke Tyler. Black Wings, standard. Semi-limited Rod. Invoked Neos. Elmen Saber. What grows in the graveyard? Very good. Love this. Very nice. Dragoonity. Semi-limited Dragoonity. Goodbye to your hate your nades. Now you gotta play Lance at two, and now you can play Lance. Lance alongside Lance. Five Lance. All right, standard. Shadow game, Ritual Beast. That's the new way they're winning. Just sit on the ulti pedal fin. Stall them out. Okay, no Blackbird Close and no Cosmic Cyclone. Level Reduction. Witchcrafter. Okay. Yeah, Playmaker, they keep thinking you're the YouTuber. <laughs> Lol. Erickson Black Wings. Again, post nerf Chris Strons. This is the winning deck, I believe. Witchcrafter with Storm. Just gotta add Storm in. Gotta add Storm. And we got Double Cyclone instead of Storm. And that is it for the top 32 decks. Subscribe, like, share with your grandma, donate, whatever you wanna do. Thank you.